Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, A Dive Into The World Of NASCAR, for episode 2 of How NASCAR Works. Today we are talking about tracks, why they are important, and why they are different. Over the years, NASCAR has raced at hundreds of tracks. Everything from the beautiful scenic terrain of places like New Hampshire, to the ones running Walt Disney World Speedway in Florida. NASCAR has also been to some crazy places in the world, like 24 hours of Le Mans in France, and all the way down to a special race day down under in Australia. From the beginning of NASCAR to now, tracks have evolved from the once known king of crazy track, Langhorn Speedway. A perfect dirt circle where we'd have to hold the steering wheel to the left for the entire race. It had a reputation for fatalities and serious injuries. It wasn't unheard of to have people burned alive. Thankfully, the owners of the track realized the danger almost immediately and addressed it by reshaping the track. But most of those races happened years ago, so it's time to get back to the present and talk about the tracks we have today. There are a lot of different types of tracks. Huge tracks like Atlanta and Daytona tend to bring more spectators, not only because of the large seating capacity, but because a lot of action tends to happen on those bigger tracks. NASCAR sometimes switches things up and goes to road courses like Watkins Glen International or Sonoma. Each track is unique with its own characteristics like the degree of banking in the corners and the length of straightaways. Bigger tracks usually have steep banking, while road courses usually have elevation change and not much banking. A lot of drivers who are comfortable on more traditional ovals tend to struggle on road courses. This is usually because road courses have various sizes and directions of twists and turns. But there are other tracks like Pocono Raceway in Pennsylvania. Pocono is a racetrack with three corners and is a triangle. The track holds multiple NASCAR events. You also have Bristol Motor Speedway which is the smallest track on the NASCAR schedule. You can basically run a lap in 14 seconds. This allows a lot of contact and shoving since the cars are so close together, making it exciting. Speeds at the track are typically 100 miles an hour on the straights, compared to the big track top speeds of 200 miles an hour. It's so small they built two pit roads, but no matter where you sit, you always have a good view of the action. While NASCAR is known for places like Daytona and Martinsville, they are always looking at moving to new tracks in the future. But that's the future! The reason I'm talking about tracks is because they're very important, and they're the foundation of NASCAR. Without tracks, there is no NASCAR! Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you stay healthy and safe during these challenging times. See you next time!